too. So I'm, I'm not sure if that matters. Um, you might want to look back in your notes and see if prime means that the second one has to be a perfect square. I have to go I, I'm really not sure. I don't know we what they want. The question. It's... Sure. All right. Uh, number three here. Number three here. Um, when dividing x squared minus one by x minus three, the dividend needs a placeholder of three of minus three x. So they're they're actually referring to this x squared minus one. What it really is is x squared plus zero x minus one. Okay, so th this th they're they're saying, well, should it be minus three x? And the answer is no. It, it it should actually be zero x. So this is definitely false. Yeah. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Ready to move on to number four? Yes, no, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. So first type of factoring is GCF, the greatest common factor. That's a number. That's a variable. What number goes into both 3x cubed and 3x squared? One? One for sure. One goes into everything, though. Right. It's uh, like saying, yeah. So is there a bigger number that goes into both 3 and 3? Six. Nope. That's too big. Nope. It's got to be smaller than both numbers. Two. Three. Does three oh, go three. into both? Okay. Oh, yeah. Three uh, Three goes into both. So three. Yes. Okay. So three goes into both. That's that's good. Now, what's the smaller exponent between x cubed and x squared? Uh, x squared. Right. So three x squared is the GCF. That's going to go on the outside. And then they call it this divide and slide method. You end up dividing each of these by the GCF. Do you remember how to do that from last year? I'm remembering a little, getting like a little. Okay, what is um, three divided by three? Uh, one. One. Okay, now when the bases are the same, you subtract the exponents. Okay, so be what is what would one, the exponent be? One x one. Yeah, just one x one or just x to the one. To the On one. the right here, the threes cancel, the x squareds cancel. That would be this um becomes one. One. And there's a three x squared on the outside. So that is your your answer. All right. Is that okay? Mm hmm All right. Four, one, two. Okay. The number All five right. is completely different. Like it's uh it's a it's what's called a perfect square trinomial. Mm -hmm. And so it has this form, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So to figure out what a and b are, you, you, you line them up here. Um, a squared becomes 4y squared. So what does a, what do you square to get 4? 2. 2. What do you square to get y squared? Y? Yes, two y. y. So that's that's your a. How about what do you square to get to get b? Mm, to get two uh two a b. No, to get b. To get b. What do you what b squared oh. gets you to nine? So what is b? You get three and three. Yeah, so it's three. So your a is two y, and your and your b is three. Okay, so this factors into 
a plus b squared. So it's 2y plus 3 squared like that. OK. All right. Any questions on that? Um, kind of, just how would I tell between all these questions which is which, right? Yeah, I mean that's that's the key. That's what they're trying to test. I mean, you it's kind of a list. It's right. like okay, it's not or it is GCF. Okay, it's not GCF. It's a perfect square trinomial. Oh, it's not. It's difference of squares. Oh, it's not. You just keep. Um, going down the list here. Now, perfect square trinomials have certain form. Same with, uh, same with, uh, um, you know, uh, same with um, the GCF uh, difference mm -hmm. squares and GCF. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's one way to do it. Right. So you would just kind of like see some indicators and then assume what it would be yeah, yeah. like formula. like numbers number six is two terms and it has a subtraction operator in the middle which means it's a difference of squares okay six all right so this has a certain form, a squared minus b squared, and it becomes a minus b, a plus b. All right. Okay. There's something from that. All right. All right, so what squared, what is A and what is B? And sometimes the number is easier. Uh, 144 would be B. No, B, B no. is the number that you square to get 144. Okay. That'd what be number do you square to get that? 12. 12. Yes, so B is 12, 12 squared. And then what is A? A is just W. Okay, so th so this becomes W minus twelve, W plus twelve. Okay. Okay. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Making seven is actually another difference of squares. It's two yeah. terms. It's subtracting. That's how you know. You have to figure out, you know, what squared minus what squared gets you back to the previous line. Squared. Okay. It would be. So a squared minus b squared equals minus b a plus b. Okay, that. Okay. So what goes in the first parentheses? What gets you back to sixteen c squared? I would say. How do you get back to 16? What number do you square? Four squares? and C. Four C. Four C, good. And do the same thing for the 25 M squared. That would be 5 M. All right. So what does this become? What what the and, and use the same formula here? This A minus B A plus B. It would be um Four, four C minus five M, and then four C plus five M. Exactly. 
Okay, there we go. Not too hard as I thought it was. Four C plus. Okay. Now expand. Interesting. All right. So now we're going the other way. Oh boy. They don't start you out with an easy one. They just jump right in. Okay. The um, You're in Algebra 2 this year? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you already take Geometry at some point? Probably in the next grade. Okay. Probably. All right. So here we go. This is what X minus 3 cubed is. It's X minus 3 times X minus 3 times X minus 3. I want you to FOIL the first two. Do you remember FOIL? That's the rainbow <laughs> method. Right. It would be first um, outer and then inner and then last. last. Okay. First so I would, I'm trying to remember, I would have to multiply only two or could I do three? Um, you you take the first added. times the first, X times X. Okay. That would be X squared. Squared, okay. And then X times negative three. Huh. X times negative three. That would be negative three X. Okay, and then you do the negative three times X, what does that become? Negative three, that would be, I think the same negative three X. Okay, and then negative three times negative three. Oh, this is tough. Uh, I think it would be negative six. You're no, multiplying. It's multiplying, right. Nine, negative nine. Positive nine. Negative times negative makes positive. Right. Okay. Now you do combine like terms. So the like terms here are the minus three X, the minus three X. That's X squared minus six X plus nine times X minus three. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this other X minus three in front. Okay. And then we're going to take the X, the X and we're going to multiply everything by the x. All right, so we're gonna do that first. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times minus six is minus six x squared. x times nine is nine x. Then we're gonna multiply everything by the negative three. So negative three times x squared is minus three x squared. Minus three times minus six X is 18 X. Minus three times nine is minus 27. And then we're gonna add these up together. So X three, um, adding, so that'll be negative nine X. Plus seven x and then minus twenty seven. Okay. Okay. Almost got it. I just did a exponent wrong. Okay. And right. Right, so let's go to number nine. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So for number nine, divide and show your work. 
So you haven't done this in a while. This was long division. You put the y plus 1 on the outside, y cubed minus y squared minus 6y minus 4 on the inside, like that. Is that OK? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, this is a little bit awkward, but you have to figure out what do you multiply this y here on the left to get y cubed? And the answer is y squared. Y squared times Y becomes Y cubed. All right. And then you also need to multiply by this one. So this becomes plus Y squared like that. Is that, is that clear? That's yeah. Plus one. Yeah, okay. Okay, now the next thing is very important is you have to change the signs. You're really subtracting here, but it's better to change the signs. Mm -hmm. Get it. Okay. And so it becomes y cubed minus y cubed. That's zero. You should always get zero there. Mm hmm then it's minus y squared minus y squared. That becomes minus 2y squared. And then you always bring down the next term. Okay. 6y. And then would it be 5? No. So we now want to get to two minus 2y two squared from y. Which would be um, two, just two y, okay. Well, it might, well, two y gets you the two y squared, but you want it to be negative. So it's it's gotta be a negative two y. And it's, okay. it's a little nuance there, just making sure you got the right, the right, right uh, uh, sign there. So, so you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna multiply this minus two y by the y and by the one. So it becomes minus 2y squared minus 2y. And then, like I mentioned, you have to, again, change the signs. But just make sure you see how it becomes minus 2y squared minus 2y times y. Uh, exponents add together. Ooh, All right. Um, so now we're going to change the signs. Okay. Sorry, question? Oh, I was just going to ask about the what signs would change. Negative goes to positive. Negative goes to positive. So basically, positive goes to negative. Negative goes to positive. And then you add. And like like we mentioned in the previous one, you you're supposed to get zero. You're supposed to get zero in that first position. And then this is negative four y. And then you bring down the last last term. Oh, okay. I think, yeah, we keep going. Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep going. We now need to get a minus 4y from y. So what do you multiply y by to get minus 4y? I would say 4. 4 gets you to 4y. We want minus 4. Oh, four. Four. Negative 4. Negative 4. So that becomes, so now when you multiply, it's negative 4y minus 4. But again, you have to... Change the, change the signs. Plus, plus, zero, zero? Yeah, and both zero. So now that's a good, that doesn't always happen, but that is. You forgot zero. Yeah, so the, the answer, though, is is up here. This is what's called the quotient. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and that's the answer. Y squared minus 2Y minus 4. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Flashcard. 
Okay. Um, any uh, any other questions that before we move on to the next uh, next page? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think so. Just looking over it's it's division, so I understand it a bit. All right. Um Okay, so we've got, I think we've got enough time to finish this uh, other one here. So it says, write the letter of the collect coalition in the blank. According to the order of operations, which of the following operations may be done at the same time as multiplication? What What do you think here? Operations such as which may be done. Ooh, same time. Maybe addition. I'm not feeling too confident about that. The uh, yeah, it's it. Addition and subtraction can be done together, and multiplication division can be done together. All right. Okay. That makes more sense. All right. Number two. Number two, which of the following algebraic properties is used to manipulate a x a times x plus y into a x plus a y? So maybe you can say it in your own words what's happening here. Confusion. Well, no, no, no. Like, like, how are we going from the left to the right? Like what's different about the left and the right? Um, I would, I would say would be different would be identity property. For uh, no, no. Um, you're you're giving out this a to both. You're sharing it to both. Uh -huh. okay. Do that any of those words mean distributive? Yeah. There you go. All right, so number thinking... three, question? Okay, we can do number three. No, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt you. I just, oh, it's okay. just uh... I was thinking identity because A was changed with AX and AY, so kind of felt so like... The identity property retains itself. Like you you have your own identity. I have my own identity. Um, there's multiplicative identity and there's uh, addition identity. And it has to give you the same thing as what you started with. All right. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Number three, the rule for exponents is that when you have an exponent to an exponent, like let's say it's like two to the ninth to the power of three, it becomes two to the 27. How do you get 27 from nine and three? It would be nine times three. Yes. So you multiply. All right, so use that same thing for this one to tell me the correct answer, please. Uh, uh, C. It is w. C. All right. Write this one down. Okay. Um, are you there? Yep. All right. Uh, so for the next grouping of three, I want you to try it on your own mm -hmm. rather than me just jumping in here. Okay. And, uh, just, just try all three. Just let me know when you've got some down for all three, and uh, and then I'll write the um, the correct answers.
Okay, um, the wording is pretty confusing, but I probably didn't get it right. But for four, um, I was thinking X minus two. That's that's correct. Correct. Okay. Um, I didn't do five, but I do. I could understand, but six. I would assume A equals fifteen. It's no. No more than. Right. So yeah. So let's just say it was more than. Let's just say remove that word. What if it was A is more than fifteen? I would say um, use one of those symbols which show uh, what is bigger and what is smaller. Yeah. Right. So that's more than. So when it's right. the no, no means going the other way. Okay. A less than or equal to. Oh. Okay. Quotient means division. Division would be x divided by 5. Yeah, x divided by 5. Okay. All right. All right, number 4. Um, Okay, so one of the things that I, I've been showing lately, and hopefully it will help you, is that uh, you really want to treat the variables like they're in parentheses. So that when you put the number in, you're putting it into the parentheses. We get, I'm going to get all of this written down. So, Where's plus nine? Okay. And four. So it would be a seven X seven um, times four. Seven times four minus seven. three times four squared plus nine. Okay. All right. Everything written down. Okay. So order of operations, you you multiply here seven times four. In the middle here, you square and then multiply. The Eight and nine. Go ahead and uh, figure. Tell me what this becomes when you simplify. And you're welcome to use a calculator. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so, do you want me to like um, get those numbers and then keep going? Let's get. Give me the final answer. Okay, final answer. Uh, I would say the final answer would be 13. Okay, what is 7 times 8? 7 times I'm 4? I'm sorry, what is 7 times 4? Sorry, 7 times 4? Uh, 28. What is 4 squared? 4 squared, that would be 8. Nope, that's 16. Oh, that's 16, okay. 4 squared means 4 times 4. Okay, let me go do this one more time. Times three. Three times 16. 48. Okay. Okay, and just give that another. Uh... 40. So we got 28 times 48. Negative 20 plus 9. Negative 11. Or Positive one. I think it's negative 11. 
It's negative 11. Negative 11, okay. All right, negative 11. Okay. All right, good. So we've got uh, three more questions here. Plenty of time to get these all done. Um, Right. Here we go. Number eight. So it says it says for all of these, write the answers without negative exponents. Show your work. So the idea here is that you can distribute the zero to each of the exponents. And notice I put a one above the z. All right. The, so invisible one. Yeah, so it's two times zero, three times zero. Mm -hmm. So this is x to the zero, y to the zero, z to the zero. And anything to the zero power, whether it's x or y or any letter is always one. So this is really one times one times one, which is one. Zero equals one. Okay. Number nine. Number nine. Okay, so let me grab a snip here of this. Number nine. Okay, so the uh, property here is that anything to a negative exponent becomes one over the same thing to a positive exponent. So the d to the minus three becomes one over d to the power of three. 12 is really 12 over one. And y to the fifth is really y to the fifth over one. And so you multiply the top and then you multiply the bottoms. So um, can you tell me what, what the hmm. top or the bottom becomes? Top would be... 12y to the fifth power, and then bottom would just be d, d to the third power. That's your final answer. Mm -hmm. Fifth, d3. Okay, is that all right? Mm hmm All right, number 10. Number 10 here. So when you have a top and a bottom, when you have like x to the n over x to the m, you subtract the exponents and you always put the answer in the numerator, okay? This is really three problems. This is really 15 over three, b squared over b to the fifth. c to the fourth over c squared. Okay. 15, okay. Okay, so now this middle one, this middle one is b to the 2 minus 5 power. The c is c to the 4 minus 2 power. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Is that is that okay? Like, get caught up to this point? Yep. All right, so this is 5b to the minus 3 power, c to the power of 2. This is now a lot like question 9. Could you reduce this for us, please, from here? Uh, make the go to my flashcard. Here we go. 
for B, I would say B, um, a little confused here. Yeah, but we, we did one just, this is almost exactly like nine, except just different numbers. So do the same thing we did in nine. Oh, I have to put it like that. Okay. Five over one. And then I think one over B here. Okay. Yeah. Three, uh, five, B, negative three. I'm actually really confused because I'm putting it like we did last time and with yeah, numbers above one. Last time it was 12D minus three Y to the fifth. Tell me what we did in your own words here for number nine. We uh, divided. or No, we actually just separated and then we uh, separated with ones right races. so maybe maybe try that for this one try that for this one separate it five one two one. and then one over b negative three and then C two one. When it when it moves to the bottom, what happens to the exponent? Oh, okay. It becomes a positive. Yes. Yes. So in the uh -huh. chat here, I'm going to put a link. I want to click on it sooner than later. That's a one page reference sheet of exponents. Might be good to print that out and have it with you while you're working on these problems. Okay, thank you. Is that there, okay. So that would be five C squared and then B to the third power, B cubed. So your final answer here is five C squared and B cubed. Okay. So next time if I'd have to do something like this, the middle one. Uh, well, no, it's it's the negative exponent that goes to the bottom. Like if it was, okay. so it's six a b to the minus nine. It right. becomes this is six over one times a over one times one over b to the ninth. Okay. So the six A over B to the ninth, like that. Okay. I was getting a little confused with how I should order these numbers and letters. Yeah. Makes sense. Thank you. All right. Well, we're gonna stop there for today. Okay. We got through everything.